Dear viewers, I have already discussed with you what phasal verb is. Phasal verb is actually verb plus adverbial particle. And verb plus adverbial particle jointly expresses a single meaning. For example, dwarf your shoes before entering the temple. So dwarf means just remove your shoes from your feet. So remove is the single word and dwarf is the phrasal verb. Please sit down. Please sit down on the bench. So sit down is a phrasal verb and on is preposition and it expresses a single meaning. Stand up on the bench. So stand up, stand plus up is a phrasal verb and on is preposition. Now welcome to my channel and easy step to English grammar. And before starting my lesson, I tell you to press the bell icon to subscribe my channel so that I may appear before you with more grammatical items. Thanking all of you, I am starting my lesson. Advanced phrasal verbs. The phrasal verbs which are frequently used in our daily life. For example, crossover. Then what is crossover? The meaning of crossover is move from one thing to the other. Move from one thing to the other. For example, I am learning English now and in future I may cross over to French. I am learning English now and in future I may cross over to French crossover. So move from one thing to other. Another example is hold off. It is also frequently used phrasal verb. It means stopped or prevented from moving. There is a long procession in the street. So the traffic has been held up. There is a long procession in the street and the traffic has been held up. It is the past participle form of hold up. Okay. Now my third example is make up. Make up means decide or resolve or come to the conclusion. I have made up my mind that I would learn medicine. I have made up my mind that I would study medicine. Made up. That is the past form of makeup. Abide by. Abide by means obey. When you are in an educational institution, you must abide by the rules of the college, the rules of the university, etc. Abide by, obey. All these are very, very frequently used in our daily conversation, writing English, spoken English, etc. Now my fifth example is bear with. Bear with means tolerate. For example, I cannot bear with such a pain because I have got a blister on my foot. I have got a blister on my foot and I can't bear with the pain. I can't bear with your rough behavior. I can't bear with your rough behavior, your rude behavior. All these are. Break up. Break up means separate or split. For example, 
their 15 years relationship has suddenly broken up their 15 years relationship has suddenly broken up that is split okay break out appear suddenly in a large scale in a large scale for example recently dengue has broken out in our town in an epidemic form recently dengue has broken out in an epidemic form in our town in our city etc break out do away with to remove completely do away with dowry system is a curse to human society it must be done away with it must be done away with break sorry do away with turn down turn down means to refuse i made a proposal to him but it was instantly turned down i made a proposal to him but it was instantly turned down passive form turn off turn off means to arrive or appear half of the members or only a few members have turned off in the meeting only a few members have turned off in the meeting that is arrive so i have given you 10 frequently used and advanced phrasal verbs reminding you that please subscribe my channel and i shall be encouraged i shall be enthused to give you more examples of phrasal verbs thanking all of you goodbye